Welcome to an episode of Juicing Systems Mechanic Hour. Today we're going to be walking you through how to change a belt on your KEB 400. So really the only tool that you're going to require today is a set of pliers to pull the pin out from the belt. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is removing the guard and all the scrapers. And you need to remove these latches. An easy way to remember how they go back on is they're all notched. So there's three notches here, two, and one. Okay, and then we're gonna remove the hopper just by releasing these four latches here. This pops right out. So before we start removing the belt here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the pressure is off your belt tensioner. Otherwise, you will not be able to remove the pin from the belt. Okay, so here we've placed the connection staples towards the front of the machine for easy access. This is gonna be the best point to remove and install your belt. First thing you're gonna do is take your pliers. You're gonna to wanna to bend this rod back to the point where it's somewhat straight. Okay, so there you can see it's fairly straight. It's gonna be straight enough to pull it through from the belt. At the other end here, um, the rod has been folded back into the belt just so that it's not creating any obstructions. And then you're just gonna take your pliers, grab the loop, and pull it out. So now we're just gonna take the belt to the bottom and just pull it right out. So here, this is the procedure for reinstalling the belt and running it through all of the rollers. So here you want to make sure that the belt is facing product side up. That's where all your product is going to be laying on and being pressed through. It's very important to make sure that this is on the top. You'll also notice that it's a lot smoother uh, than it is on the bottom. The best way to install the belt is to move from the front of the machine to the back of the machine. We're going to start by feeding it up through here over the first main roller. Okay, so these three rollers here, your belt's going to be sitting on top of each of these rollers. You'll know you've threaded it through correctly if your belt is sitting on top of these rollers. Here you want to make sure that the belt is lined somewhat in the middle. You can do that after too, before you connect it. You feed it back up over these bars. Underneath the wash arm. So one of the main things you want to remember is to keep the belt on top of the belt centering paddle. Otherwise, if it ends up, if the paddle ends up on top of the belt, it will rip it and you will be down a belt. So to reconnect your belt, you'll see two black lines on either side and you want to make sure that those line up so that all of your teeth line up. Um, also, you might want to press back with your foot on the tensioning roller. Okay, so here we're gonna stick the pin back in the belt. It is a lot easier if you have a second person to help you out to line up and stick the pin through. Okay, so to put the end, this loop piece back into the belt, you're gonna to wanna to squeeze a little bit with a set of pliers and then there's a little hole right in there and you can just take your pliers and press in there and then it fits in there snug. And then to bend down the end piece, you're gonna wanna take your pliers, bend it down and you wanna have it towards facing the back a little bit. And then to finish up, you just put back on all your scrapers, indicated one, two and three and then put the main guard back on and that's all you need to do for a belt change. 